Hello there, coming at, back at you with part two of ZZ Top's Cheap Sunglasses. Uh, again, this was a student request, thank you Phil, uh, to help him out with him playing with his cover band, but putting it up here on YouTube for his benefit, and anybody else who happens to check out this video. Alright, so we established in video one that the four notes we need, again, I'm on a five string, but I'm using my fifth string as a thumb rest, uh, fourth string from the ground, which is my E string, first fret F, third fret G, next string towards the ground, or the A string, or the third string from the ground, first fret B flat, third fret C. I'll call it out by that because it's easier for me to say F, G, B flat, C, and you might hear me call the B flat just B, and we know it's B flat for brevity purposes. So I don't have to say first fret, fourth string. That's a lot to say. It's easier to just say F, G, B flat, C. All right, so this riff is all about two pulses instead of three. So in the first one, we have the three pulses on the G. So we had G, 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 G. So we had three pulses and three more pulses. This one's going to have two pulses and two pulses on the G. for a second to kind of get uh, my bearings on the count for this because it's syncopated like crazy is I start with two pulses on a one E one E alternate picking with the right hand and then a rest one E and rest on the and and then the uh is the F note so G G F two pulse F and then kind of syncopated back to the G so it's one E, a uh, E, one E, a uh, E, one E, a uh, E. So two pulses, F and back to G, and I'm going to hit the G a second time after that. One E, a uh, E, a, uh. one E, a uh, E, a. Uh. That's G, G, F, G, 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 F, G, G. And then my closeout riff is going to come on the three and four, a, uh. three and four. You can throw this little odd in there, but you can also just go B flat, C, B flat. And right before the start of the next pattern, which is the same pattern, I'll throw in a little F. So B flat, C, B flat, F. B set, B flat, C, B flat, F. Three and four, uh. Yeah, that wasn't it. But it's the three and four of one. Three and four of one. Now, if you leave off that F, you, it's, it, it's cool to have it there. I'll probably have it most of the times that I play it. But again, I'm learning this as well. So I'm doing this for my benefit um, as well as yours and Phil's. So it's one E, a uh, E, a uh, three and four, a uh, one E. stops there and you get that little part all right so like we did with the last video I'm gonna throw in a pulse so our goal is 96 so it should sound like this this is our goal take it slow and in rhythm starting at three quarters tempo which is about 72 beats per minute we'll bump it up in between this and our goal and you can set your own metronome at home to whatever tempo is going to fit you best as you progress up to 96 beats per minute so it's 72 it's one two ready go
And at the end, I just did a G, G, F, G, F, G. I'm not sure if that's actually what he does at the turnaround, but it works. Um, then we bump it up to 84. There we go. Again, if this is too fast, make it your goal to get here next, even if it's not today. Maybe it's tomorrow or the next day. But set those goals. All right, 84. One, two, ready, go. closer to reaching our goal which is 96 beats per minute Again, for this I'm using an app called drum beats metronome which just plays a basic canned rock ACDC inspired beat uh, much more fun to play to than a metronome especially in 4-4 all right so on 96 beats per minute it's gonna sound like this this is full tempo this is our goal and again if you don't quite get to 96 immediately just make it your goal incrementally every day to get there comfortably. Rhythm first, speed second. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. our goal all right so put those two together practice them both up play along to the song and you're gonna love it it's a fun riff four notes one two riffs Just remember focus on that F that G B flat and C in that box pattern so a lot of the song is right here and it's so fun uh, side note Technique wise, I'm using a lot of alternate picking with the right hand, so pay attention to what my fingers are doing here. And then you notice I'm in a groove range. I'm not trying to reach up with my ring finger and put my hand at a contorted angle. I'm bringing it back here. So it's like these two fingers kind of work in conjunction with each other. These two right here, this one comes down with it, and I'm really just shifting the weight of my hand from my pointer to my pinky. Right, you can see my arm kind of move into it, so I'm not going and trying to just put my pinky down. I'm kind of getting my whole body into it. And then you notice I feel that pulse of the four beat rhythm with my chin, with my foot, something of that nature. All right, so use all those elements, have fun, and we'll come back with the other parts of this song in the near future. All right, stay tuned.